Hi there. In this video, I will talk about how you can adjust your weekdays or weekends as well as your custom business holidays into your time series data. So here I have a small data set that is for Amazon.com that I have downloaded from finance site, Yahoo Finance site. And this is just one month's data. As you can see, it is starting on the uh, on the Feb, 6th Feb 2018 and going until the 5th March 2018. And as you can see that 6, 7, 8, 9 and after that 10 and 11 is basically weekend. As well as if you go down here on 16, you see that 17 and 18 is basically weekend. If I show you here in my calendar. So Feb after 16, 17 and 18 is hol is basically Saturday and Sunday and 19 is a holiday. And as you can see, after 16, there is directly 20th. How you can basically create a date range so that you are accounting all of these changes that is present in your data. So we will look into that uh, by following these scripts that I have. So here I have the scripts for you. So first thing that we are doing is importing the libraries pandas as pd and then we are importing the file amazon.csv and displaying the file. So let's go ahead and execute this. So I'm pressing control enter. So what it is doing is nothing but uh, importing the data what we have it over here from 6th of Feb to 5th of March so just to make sure. 6th of Feb to March, 5th March. After that, if we are creating a series, we need to create a date range and adjust that date range as a date time index as I have covered in the previous videos about the benefits of uh, creating a date range and then you know using it as an index. So if we are creating that date range, what you need to do is uh, you basically need to create a new object of date range by using the function pd dot date range. So date range is a function within the library pandas. So you need to provide three parameter. First is the start when the series is starting. So it is starting on the sixth fab. So if I go, this is starting on sixth fab and it is ending on the fifth of March. And you need to provide the frequency as b. B is nothing but the business days that is exclusive of Saturday and Sunday. That means the weekend. If you are providing that, you will get a series as a business day series. So if I go ahead and execute it, it will show me the range that is starting on the 6th Feb, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th is basically a holiday. So that's why it has not included. However, if you go down there, you will see this. It has included 19th as a business day, whereas it was a holiday specifically in US as a president day. If you see that on 16th Feb directly, you are coming on 20th Feb because 19th was a president day and that's why a holiday. All right. So how you can tackle the holidays? Well, you can basically import the US federal holiday calendar from the library pandas.t series that means time series dot holiday you can import the US federal holiday calendar and to offset any custom business to offset these holidays you need to have the custom business day library as well so once you are there what you can do is you can create a new object which is US holiday and using the function custom business day that you have imported here with the libraries pandas.t series dot offsets you can specify that your calendar is us federal holiday calendar and that's what i have done it over here right so now this calendar information for a custom business day has been created for this us holiday object and after that you can create a date range which is business day and again the same parameter pd dot date range start is 6th Feb and is 5th March and frequency now will be changed to US 
holiday and us holiday is coming from here where you have specified that calendar is a us federal holiday calendar so once you go and execute this you will see that 6th of 7th 8th 9th 10th and 11th is not coming as well as if you see that 19th is also not coming right so that's basically an example of how you can adjust your holidays by creating a using a custom business day function and then from that function create an object and use that object as your frequency all right let's move ahead and see a few other things in action so next thing is about apart from the us federal holiday calendar there may be some reason that you have some more custom holidays so for example here you can specify that holidays is equals to whatever holiday it is so for example we have taken the 22nd feb 2018 is an holiday like for this particular date and we want that it should not come as a business day so what you can do again using the custom business day specify the holiday parameter remember that earlier you specified the calendar parameter because you were following this us federal holiday calendar now you can have the holidays over here and specify your whole custom holiday over here as a parameter within the single quotes and use this frequent this date range p day that you have created for your holidays over here as a frequency b day so b day is nothing but just birthday let's say for example you have your own company and on your own birthday you want to give the holiday to all the employees so that's why i've just gone ahead and created it so with the help of same function pd dot rate range you are creating the start again and and specifying the frequency as birthday so let's go ahead and execute this Again, you will see that 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th and 11 is not coming. As well as, in this case, 19th is coming. But 22nd after 21st, you will see that 22nd is not coming because you have given the holiday on your birthday to the entire company. So, that's about it, specifying the custom holidays. Now, let's move ahead and see if there are like multiple custom holidays. So, apart from single one. There are, let's say, holidays on 8th, 9th, and 15th. Then simply you can follow this same function custom under custom business day. Specify the multiple holidays by having the comma between the holidays dates. And specify my custom calendar over here, frequency my custom calendar. So for example, in this case, if your dates keeps changing, you know, you can specify it customly here at the maybe start of the year or mid of the year, whenever dates are changing. And you can get your time series updated accordingly. So that's about uh, that's about specifying multiple days. So if I go ahead and execute this, it will show you that 8th of Feb after 7th, 8th is not coming, 9th is not coming, and 15th is not coming. Now let's look at the different weekends that may, we may have. So for example, in Dubai, uh, if I'm not wrong, Thursday and Friday is basically a weekend and you need, you need to come on Saturday and Sunday. So your week basically starts on Saturday and go until Wednesday. So what we can do is we can create an object for Dubai underscore weekdays in this format. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Just, so just remember the format that it should be, you should follow the same one to make an adjustment into your uh, weekdays. So these are the weekdays for Dubai, let's say. And we are creating a Dubai calendar by using the custom business day function again. And here with the parameter week mask, we are specifying the weekdays over here. So Dubai underscore weekdays, the weekdays that we created over here. Now let's go ahead and do the date range, use the date range function to create the date range for Dubai. So same parameters, we are starting on the 6th Feb, ending on the 5th March. And let's go ahead and enter. So now you can see that after 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th are not coming because if I look back on the Feb, 8th is Thursday and 9th is Friday. So that's why they are not coming and directly 10th is coming. 
So this way, you can create a custom business day calendar based on uh, your weekends that your country is following. One last piece that I have for you is that uh, along with weekdays that you have, you also have holidays like this. You can specify both the parameters over here. So for example, custom business days, and you are saying that 20th is my holiday. So my holiday parameter is specifying the 20th fab as an holiday. And I'm saying that my weeks are starting from Saturday and going until the Wednesday. And that's Dubai weekdays that we create over here. And then I'm creating a date range again with the same range, 6th fab to 5th March and execute this. Now you will see that 20th fab is also missing from this calendar. So that's how you can make your calendar or date ranges flexible as per your business needs and, uh, you know, create a meaningful time series for your business. So that's pretty much all I have for you in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.